hello guys today our topic is forward difference and backward difference so listen carefully because this topic is has many confusion between uh, forward difference and backward difference um, about their suffix their power hmm. so listen carefully first we need to know about the function let f is a function from x to y so y is equal to f of x so corresponding every value of x there is a y value huh? for x0 y0 for x1 y1 for x2 y2 and so on hmm. and this x0 x1 x2 x4 x5 x6 up to xn um, i just take up to x6 uh, these are all in increasing order so x0 hmm, less than x1 these all are in increasing order huh. uh, in in this uh, picture y values are also in increasing order but that's not mandatory yeah so this is the table contains uh, x value and y values hmm. in a uh, ascending order of their suffix i mean x0 x1 x2 this suffix value so this is called the forward direction and this is called the backward direction this is important now we are going to understand the forward difference and backward difference just let us take two points of y values there are n plus one y values from y0 to yn we are just going to take n values consecutive two values in between them let's say y r and y r plus one so what is forward difference hmm, just notice the suffix okay so let us find y r what here current suffix is r so in forward difference what do we do we just minus the current suffix from the next suffix so here next suffix is y r r plus 1 is the next suffix so we subtract y r from y r plus 1 let us take an example for y 0 the next suffix is y 1 and it is y 0 so y 1 minus y 0 now let us by to find del y1 so again next suffix minus current suffix hmm. now we find the backward difference backward difference hmm. we have seen the direction na? forward direction and backward direction now we understand why it is called backward direction the backward direction mean just subtract the previous suffix from the current suffix so in forward difference what we do we subtract the current suffix from the next suffix and in backward difference what we do we just subtract the previous suffix from the current suffix you have notice the suffix in nabla y r plus 1 so r plus 1 is the current suffix here now here we see that y0 is not available why because the previous suffix is minus 1 and minus 1 is not y minus 1 is not available so it is not available hmm. so in forward direction the problem is we need to have a next suffix otherwise you cannot compute the difference and in backward difference the problem is the previous suffix is if the previous suffix is not available so we cannot find the difference hmm. so let us take more points from y0 to y and we are going to okay now del yn minus one so what will be it will be again next suffix minus current suffix now del n is not available why because the next suffix in plus one y n plus one is not available hmm. but here in nabla here there is no concern about the we need to con be concerned about the next suffix because it is totally depend on the current suffix and the previous suffix so y n minus one is available y 
n is also available because it will be current suffix y n minus previous suffix y n minus 1. So, this is the forward difference and backward difference. So, here to difference y0 to y n, we lose one term. Hmm. In this difference step, in this difference uh, values, uh, del y0, del y1 up to del y n, we just lose one element from each. In del, we lose y. In del operator, we lose y n. In nabla watt operator, we lose y0. Hmm. So, here, del and nabla are totally same. All the values are totally same. Just different in there is their suffix. Just see, in del operator, suffix is greater than the... In nabla operator, suffix is greater than del operator. Now we are going to find the second forward difference. I mean the power will be 2. So, del square. Second forward difference over the same set y0 here. Oh, sorry, y r. It will be del y r plus 1 minus del y r. So, here concern is y r must exist. Then del square y r will be exist. Similarly, del q y r is equal to hmm, this same. Here is also concern is del square y, y r plus 1 must exist. Otherwise, del q y r, y r will not be exist. So, similarly, for generalize, del p y r, this equals to this. And here is also concern, this y r plus 1, my del p minus 1, y r plus 1, this term must exist. Similarly, we see for nabla. So, nabla square y r equals to nabla y r minus what the previous term, the previous suffix. So, it will be del y1. Here concern is this term del, sorry, nabla y r minus 1 must exist. If y r minus 1 exists, then del square y r exists. Similarly, del q y r here also concern is del square y r minus 1 must exist then del q y r exist also the generalized form hmm, will be this so these are the forward and different and backward difference in higher order here we are going to make the forward difference table here x and y values are given these are the x0, x1, x2 and the corresponding y0, y1, y2 we are going to make the difference table so for forward difference table the first term will be del y0 and what is the formula for del y0? del y0 equals to what? the next term minus current term so 15 minus 12 this 3 and then ne next del y1 will be 20 minus 15 just see here the minus is in this order just see the arrows And the last term will be blank because there is no next term. We have discussed earlier that the forward difference is uh, totally uh, depend on the current value and the next value. And the next value is blank. So it is blank. No next. Hmm, similarly, for del square, del cube, huh, each one next value will be blank because in the previous step there was no next value. So now we we'll just write the uh, this table in a fresh in a fresh table. Hmm. It was the same sum. The table I just read write on a fresh manner. 
you know, you also I have also write the backward difference table. Look, these two tables are totally same. All the terms are totally same. Just the for a different table is upper triangular and it is the lower triangular. Hmm. Otherwise, all the terms are same. Hmm. In for a different table, the last terms are missing. So, the terms totally shifted to upward. Hmm. And in backward different table, the first terms are missing. So, it it is just pushed downwards. Otherwise, the two tables are totally same. Just look at this relationship. Hmm. Just see the Dale and Nabla operators always give the same result. Just the suffix matters. In Nabla operator, the suffix is one more than the Dale operator. And if we use this second order, then see they are also same. Only difference is between their suffix. And here the suffix is two more than the del operator. So we can conclude a uh, relationship here. Let in generalize let uh, it is del of order p over y r. It is equals to nabla p y. So it will be incremented. So this suffix will be more than the del operator na? in del operator the suffix was r so it will be r plus p and just see the relationship thus the suffix get summed with the order of the operator hope this video will help you suggest us for new topics and like comment and share and please do subscribe our channel